Kaayan, officially the city of Kaayan, Ilocano, Ciudad T. Kaayan, Ibanag, Ciudad Nat Kaayan, Filipino, Lungsod ng Kaayan, or simply Kaayan City is a third-class city in the province of Isabela, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 129,523 people. A small town is founded in 1852 along the Cagayan River and in 2001, converted to a component city. During the Spanish regime, the city is a part of the tobacco industry. Cauayan City is nearly the geographic center of the province and bordered by seven neighboring towns which makes it as an important economic center of the province. In the recent years, there is an increase in economic activities. Cauayan City is a fast-growing rural industrial center centrally located in the province and in the entire stretch out of Cagayan Valley. It is about 375 kilometers northeast Manila, 34.5 kilometers south of Iligan, the capital city of Isabela, about 48 kilometers north Santiago City, and roughly 117 kilometers away from Tuguegarao City in Cagayan Province. Etymology Kauayan have its name from the word Kauayan meaning bulo in the Ilocano language, the early settlers of the place. How it got its name is vaguely told by the natives. In the tale, early Spaniards reached the place found abundant bamboo trees along creeks that circled the town site of Bulad, Sipat, Bungkal, and Marabulig creeks where few families lived. It was also a common to see crocodiles basking under the cluster of bamboo along the creeks in the early morning sun. Another version of how the town was named is this way, one day the miraculous image of the Blessed Virgin Mary disappeared. For many weeks, a tireless search was undertaken but it was nowhere to be found. Then one day in October the image was found among the bamboo groves. Not a single sign of mishandling or scratch was detected on the image. History Kaayan used to be a big municipality in terms of land area. With the creation of the neighboring municipalities of Luna, Antate Cabachuan, Reina Mercedes, Collaring, Aurora and San Mateo, however, the land area was reduced to about 336.40 square kilometers. Establishment Kaayan town was once a part of the province of Cagayan. When Nueva Vizcaya was created as a province in 1839, Cauayan was transferred to it. On May 1, 1856, the province of Isabela was created by a royal decree. Cauayan was again administratively transferred, this time to Isabela. Founded in 1740, Cauayan antedates the establishment of Isabela by 116 years. The town site was first located in a place called Kalanushan along the Cagayan River. After a series of disastrous floods, the town site was moved to its present location. Spanish and American rule Conversion into a city Barangays Cauayan City is politically subdivided into 65 barangays. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Cauayan, Isabela, was 129,523 people, with a density of 390 inhabitants per square kilometer or 1,000 inhabitants per square mile. Climate Economy Cauayan is a third-class city in the province of Isabela. Cauayan City has been selected to host the proposed Isabela Special Economic Zone and the Regional Agro-Industrial Growth Center. There are over 2,422 commercial establishments that include distributors, wholesalers and retailers. Agriculture Cauayan City is a surplus producer of rice and corn. A total of 24,004 hectares or 69.9% hectares is utilized for pele production and corn production. Average yield per hectare per cropping is 4.5 mt for rice and corn. Other products include livestock and poultry, fruits and vegetables, and fishery products such as hito catfish, and tilapia. The National Irrigation Administration has an office in the city. Banking and finance 
As of the year December 31, 2015, Kalayan has a total of 30 banks, with a total volume of bank deposits at PHP 17.5 billion. There are six banks based in the city namely PR Bank, Philippine Resources Savings Bank, FICO Bank, First Isabella Cooperative Bank, Rural Bank of Kalayan, North Pacific Banking Corp., Commonwealth Rural Bank Inc., and Golden Rural Bank of the Philippines. PR Bank is the largest of this six with 46 branches all over the Philippines, second is FICO Bank with 31 branches all within in Luzon, and third is Rural Bank of Kalayan with 19 branches all within the Cagayan Valley. PR Bank is the 15th largest thrift bank in the Philippines in terms of assets at 9.6 PHP billion. Commerce Recently, SM Prime opened a new mall in Kalayan City. The SM City Kalayan is situated in District 2, National Highway, Kalayan City, the former site of Isabella Colleges. SM City Kalayan is the first SM Supermall in Region 2 which caters at least 1 million residents of the province and neighboring states. SM City Kalayan is the first non-premier SM Supermall to offer all fresco malling experience, tapping the clean and fresh air that the city has to offer. SM City Kalayan also delivers new stores, national and international brands, giving Kalayan City and other neighboring towns and cities the opportunity to experience high-end shopping on a vibrant and elegant environment, and most notably is the Japanese clothing line Uniqlo. The Kalayan, Isabella branch of Uniqlo is the first in northern Luzon. KFC, Kenny Rogers, and Max. S Restaurant are also expected to open a branch in SM City Kalayan, the company's S first stores in Cagayan Valley. Pure Gold, a large retail chain in the Philippines, is currently operating two supermarkets in Kalayan. Some notable local shopping centers such as Talavera Square Mall and Primark Town Center Kalayan, which opened in June 2016, has continued to take a significant part of the local commerce industry. Philippine Coffee Shop, Restaurant Ya. Coffee originated in Kalayan City, Isabela. Its first store is located along Barangay Cabaruan, Kalayan City. The emerging business opened a new store in Santiago City last February 9, and its second store in the city of Kalayan at SM City Kalayan. Ya. Coffee will also open new stores in Teguegarao, Cagayan and Quezon City later this year. Small restaurants also made their part to the industry like Konomo Restaurant, Hap Chan, and is located at San Fermin, Kalayan City. Big real estate developers like Vista Land and Lifescapes, Inc. also entered the city with the opening of Camela Kalayan and Lumina Kalayan. Culture Gawagaway Yan Festival of Kalayan City is a celebration of the city's bountiful livelihood and merriment for the ethno-linguistic groups residing in Kalayan. It also traces and gives due recognition to the ancestry of Kalayanos from the ethno-linguistic group called Gading and recognizes the diversity of the cultural groups residing in Kalayan City through street dancing, float parade and other indigenous activities. Kalayan traces its roots to the people of Gading, who the city celebrates during the annual festival of Gawagaway Yan. This celebration features a street dance competition, a float parade and assorted activities that different ethno-linguistic groups participate in. Its ease at growing mushrooms has established Kalayan as the mushroom city of the north. Do not leave the city without visiting the mushroom center and trying the delicious local mushrooms cooked in a delightfully unfamiliar way, like tempura, sisig and lumpia. The city was once tobacco land, and there are still reminders of this past at the old Tabacalera warehouse, known as Compañía General de Tabacos de Filipinas during the Spanish period. This local tobacco industry was a massive enterprise going all the way back to 1881, when it first started supplying the tobacco monopoly of the Spanish government. The old Tabacalera warehouse is part of Hacienda San Luis, an eco-tourism park in the city. Aside from the majestic view of Cagayan River from the 250 meters long and 30 feet high zip line, Hacienda San Luis is a home for cultural heritage. Museo San Luis features how tobaccos are made for the Manila Acapulco galleon trade. It also showcases sculptures of St. Luis Louis, and several masterpieces. Government 
the current executive mayor, and the legislative vice mayor and city councilors officials of the city. Mayor, Bernard Faustino M. Dai Vice Mayor, Leoncio A. Dallin Jr. City Councilors Edgar M. De Luna Marco Paolo A. Maris Gary G. Galatera Edgardo A. Atienza Jr. Dr. Francisco N. Malilin Danilo A. Asirat Salcedo T. Ferrando Reynaldo Q. U. Y. Banos A. Maximo Sr. Cynthia Vicenta U. Galean Victor H. Dai Jr. Caesar S. Dai Jr. Faustino M. Gapison Jr. Charlene Joy B. Quintos S.K. President Infrastructure In Cauayan City, there is a difference in the adequacy of infrastructure facilities in urban and rural areas. Generally, the closer the area is to the main service center of the city, i.e. the Poblacion, the better are the facilities for production and distribution of goods and services. The analysis in this sector is based on the existing infrastructure facilities and those considered in the pipeline for 2002-2006 implementation. No projects are as yet programmed beyond 2006 in higher levels of government. Public transport The existing infrastructure provision for transport of Kauayan City is shown in Table 41. The city has a total of 512.27 kilometers of roads. Roads are classified into national, provincial, municipal, city and barangay roads including NIA access roads. All of the 18.16 kilometers of national roads are concrete roads while more than two-thirds of the 42.904 kilometers of provincial roads are graveled and 17.86 kilometers of city roads are concrete roads, about 97.40% or 340.16 kilometers of barangay roads are gravel roads while the 56.40 kilometers of NIA access road is only 2.22% concrete. By type of pavement, the total of 512.27 km of roads in the city, only 12.37% or 63.322 km is concrete and 87.68% is graveled accounting to 448.948 km. However, all settlement areas are provided with roads. Roads the national roads allow the operation of various bus and jeepney operators in the city of Kauayan and neighboring towns and areas to transport passengers and cargo to any point of Luzon, making the city of Kauayan one of the transport pivotal points in the Cagayan Valley. The 18.16 kilometers of national roads in the city of Kauayan provide mobility and access to the neighboring towns, provinces and regions. This road is the Cagayan Valley Road CVR. The CVR is the Cagayan Valley section of the Philippine-Japan Friendship Highway, also known as the Maharlika Highway. The CVR from Alanum to Tagaran is the city's longest stretch of concrete road. This road links the city of Cauayan to the rest of the region, to Region 03 and National Capital Region in the south and to Region 01 in the north. The proposed Kauayan City Diversion Roads include the Manante I Marabulig I Dadap, Moon, of Luna, San Fermin, Tagaran with an approximate length of 12.5 km, the Alisausau, Tereong, District 2, Labina, District I, Manante I Diversion Road, 4.8 km, and the San Fermin, Tagaran via CRAIGC, 4.2 km. These diversion roads when constructed will improve the settlements, the movement of goods and services and even the flow of traffic in the city. The estimated construction cost for these tree three projects will reach PHP 119.5 million including drainage and four bridges. Of the 59.66 km of provincial roads, only 28.09% or 16.756 km are concrete and the rest are all gravel roads constituting 42.904 km accounting to about 71.91%. 
Approximately 61.3% of city streets are 17.860 km are concrete while 38.70% are 10.950 km are gravel roads. In order for business to flourish in the Poblacion, all city streets need to be concreted within the plan period. Of the total 512.27 km of roads within Kaayan, about 11.01% or an aggregate length of 56.40 km is NIA access roads constructed and maintained by the National Irrigation Administration, NIA. However, in 1997, NIA turned over these roads to the city government for maintenance. The Barangay roads are important as they provide mobility and access in the settlement areas. With each new settlement area, barangay roads are initiated with private homeowners' efforts, provided the road is donated to the government, for concreting and maintenance. The government later on augments the private road development. Barangay roads totals 349.24 km or 68.17% of the total 512.27 km of roads in the city. Of this length, 97.40% or 340.16 km are graveled. Only about 9.080 km or 2.60% are concrete. The provision of heavy equipment necessary in the construction and maintenance of roads and other infrastructure facilities and utilities is of high importance in order for the city government to enhance mobility thereby increasing productivity. Road density. The standards for road provision are 2.40 km for every 1,000 urban population and 1.50 km for every 100 hectares of arable land in the rural areas. Presently, the rural road density kilometer per square kilometer, is placed at 1.52 topping the list in the entire province in terms of rural road density. With 35.575 km of roads in the five barangays with a Sai 2000 population of 31,037, the city of Kaayan has an urban road density of only 0.872 km per 1,000 urban populations. Additional roads must be constructed in the Poblacion to hasten development. On the other hand, it has 313.665 km in the 60 rural barangays with 23,501.21 hectares of arable land. This means a road density of only 1.33 km for every 100 hectares of arable lands in the rural barangays. This implies that more roads have to be constructed in the rural barangays to fully support socio-economic development. Bridges the city's road network includes 20 permanent bridges, six of which are reinforced concrete deck girder RCDG, bridges. 13 concrete overflow bridges and one steel bridge account for a total aggregate length of 431.5 lineal meters. Two RCDG bridges along the Maharlika Highway have recently been replaced under the Tule ng Pangulo program of then-President Fidel Ramos and were inaugurated in 1999 by no less than President Joseph Estrada. However, the Alasausau overflow bridge spanning 66 meters was hit by disastrous flood in 1998, causing the bridge to collapse particularly at the Karabatan Chica portion. Replacement of the said bridge is crucial to the development of the other side of the Cagayan River since this is the only route going to that place except when you take Nagilian Bridge via Mananga in the municipality of Nagilian, which is a tormentous stretch aside from causing delay. Several overflow bridges within the city also needs immediate replacement and around 16 bridges and 18 RCCP culverts more need to be constructed, replaced in order to make the city road network system efficient. Terminals Kaayan Road Network is supported with privately owned terminals for jeeps and buses located at Barangay San Fermin. SM City Kaayan has built a terminal beside the mall to support the public transportation in, out of the Kaayan. Bus companies Dallin Liner Victory Liner GV Florida transport an interprovincial bus terminal with an estimated cost of 70 million Philippine pesos needs to be constructed in this rapidly urbanizing city to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of the city's transportation system and to provide additional prime commercial area and needed tourism support services. Airport The city airport located at Barangay San Fermin completes the infrastructure provision for transport for the city of Kaayan with provincial and regional impact. It is a secondary airport as per BAT classification. 
The airport runway has a total length of 2,500 meters and 30 meters wide capable of accommodating Boeing 737s. It is equipped with VHF Omni Range Transmitter, VHF Air Ground Single Band Radio and provided with firefighting equipment and facilities. It is likewise provided with facilities for arriving and departing passengers. The entire airport facility is provided with a perimeter fence. At present, the facility is undergoing upgrading of facilities intended to accommodate international cargo flights. When completed, it is also expected that normal operations of the Philippine Airlines will resume which is very crucial in the commerce and industry sector of the city. This is very timely since Cauayan City has been selected to host the proposed Isabela Special Economic Zone and the Regional Agro-Industrial Growth Center. Cebu Pacific Air fly in Cauayan four times weekly, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays, utilizing an Airbus A320 aircraft. But now, it will fly daily as published in the website of the airline, 1, with flight number 5J196 departing from Manila and flight number 5J197 departing from Cauayan City. Communication Communications facilities include PLDT, DIGITEL, PILTEL, BAYANTEL, RCPI, PT&T, Butyl, Globe, Smart and Sun Cellular Communications. Philpost, LBC, JRS Express, FedEx, DCI Express, and EXL Express move mails. Broadcast media is provided by 5FM and 2AM Station, a cable TV facility while a number of internet cafe have established their operations in the city. Nowadays, the most important means of communication with relatives and friends is through internet. This was being provided by the NSCV Internet Connections plus the MYDSL and SmartBro broadband. The LGU likewise is utilizing handheld radio transceivers covering all barangays in city and the province as well with bases at the city hall, city police and fire protection offices. Health facilities The health needs of the city is served by a district hospital and five private hospitals, RU1 and RU2, 22 BHS, a puericulture center, 13 private medical clinics, 11 private dental clinics, a rehabilitation center for the disabled, and the Kauaian Microscopy Center. These medical facilities has a total of 255 beds. Health personnel includes 41 medical doctors, 16 dentists, 74 nurses, 84 midwives, 10 medical technicians, 7 sanitary inspectors, 7 paramedics, 250 Brigi. Health workers and 148 community volunteer health workers both in the public and private sector. Education the City Schools Division of Cauayan has a total 64 public and 14 private elementary schools, 8 public and 7 private secondary schools, 2 universities and 4 private colleges, colleges, high schools, elementary schools. References 13. http colon slash slash it's more fun in the Philippines dot com slash Kauayan dash city slash retrieved October 4th 2014 14. http colon slash slash city of Kauayan dot gov ph retrieved October 4th 2014 external links City Profile at the National Competitiveness Council of the Philippines Kauayan at the Isabella Government Website Local Governance Performance Management System Philippine Standard Geographic Code City Classification Philippine Census Information Kauayan City Official Site